Hello again, for the last time, possibly. I'm pretty sure this will be the last video of Slay the Princess. In the last video, we pieced together a few, I think we pieced together a couple, as in two, vessels or whatever it was, the, the people, the persons, the, the paths for our entity. And she says that we need to collect one more in order for her to feel whole again, and then the rest will come back to her. So this most definitely might be the last episode of Slay the Princess. I don't want to take too much time, so I'm just going to hop right into it. So I am debating between either saving her for our last attempt or killing her for our last attempt because we've only had maybe like one or two times where we've saved her. I want to go for a save run and like when I get to... The cabin i want to go down to the basement and just have a conversation with her without taking the blade because in the past we've talked with her but she's been kind of like discerned kind of i don't think i use that word right she's been on guard because we had the blade with us so i think i'm going to proceed to the cabin proceed into the cabin and then we're going to enter the basement without the blade the door to the uh-huh i am going to i'm gonna say hi don't be a stranger it's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please, come downstairs. I got you, baby girl. You and I were gonna have a casual conversation you together. Walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Yes, I know. There's a heavy chain. We are aware of this. Wrist. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? The uh, hold on. Let's talk a bit first. Okay. What's your name? Oh. She what do you pauses, mean, oh? Carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Okay, I'm liking I'm liking her demeanor a bit more. It's uh oh, I'm gushing already. <laughs> okay, alright, let me calm down. Is we just started the video. Her name or her title. What if it's both? Could you imagine being named Princess Princess? Well, I mean, just ask Mario. Apparently his name is Mario Mario because they're the Mario Bros. Little fun fact in case you didn't know that. So is Princess your name? Like I said, you can call me Princess if you'd like. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name though. Everyone has a name. Good point. Okay, that's weird. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. No, quiet you. I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. If I'm the person, if I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? That's a good ass question. I asked that and I think either like the second or the third video. That's a good ass question. I don't see what that has to do with anything. No, that's a great question. Because how the fuck, if it's been so long since you've seen anybody, how are you, how do you look so good? How do you stay so healthy? This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. No, this is a great that's question. Stop, stop gaslighting me. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? Uh, yeah. I was sitting here to slay you. You're apparently supposed to end the world. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I'm sorry, but I just can't trust you. This doesn't add up and it isn't worth the risk. Take your word over. Okay, we're not going to do that. Go back upstairs and retrieve the blade without saying a word. I can't believe they've been keeping you down here like this. I'm getting you out of here. Okay, I'm going to get you out of here. Don't make me regret this. Um... Let's just be honest, tell her that we're here to slay her and that apparently she's supposed to end the world. She might be like, I don't know what I'm going to do when I got out of here, but I have noticed that in past runs, they don't let me repeat the same scenarios. But I don't think you're actually dangerous, but I wanted to see if see you for myself. I'm still not sure what to believe. I'm starting to think it's true. There's something about you that doesn't feel right. Knowing what I know and what she can do, and then her not being able to tell me anything about herself, I don't think you're actually dangerous. I it it would fuck. It's between these two, because normally, not normally, but naturally, 
what I would say if I were in this situation is I don't think you're actually dangerous because I mean like I'm oblivious to all dangers. I have no spidey sense. I have no radar for any sort of danger in my life except mental. <laughs> and honestly, just by just based on looks, I am a very trusting person. So just based on looks, I'd let her off free. I don't think you're actually dangerous. Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. That's... How long has she been locked away? That's what I was trying to figure out with the food and then the, the drinks. She can't look this good without having eaten or drinking anything for so long. Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? Something about Bitcoin and Elon Musk taking over Twitter. I don't know. It's all futuristic stuff. I have no idea what they're talking about. I was hoping you'd tell me. I think I went down this path before, but I'm just... I'm going to see what I can do. I want to do my best to try and save her. I don't know how to destroy the world, if that's what you're getting at. Fair enough. I believe her. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Uh-huh, I remember this. We've been through Whoever here. sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. I don't trust that. And I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. Good point. She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here, or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. Amen, sister. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? Given that I have seen what you can do in other timelines, I'm being extremely trusting right now. We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here, and it's whoever sent you here, and those two groups are probably one and the same. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person and a subjugating monarch, no less. I don't know anything about you. Uh, I won't kill you, but I can't just set you free. It's too risky. What if I stayed for a while and just kept you company? Maybe then everyone could be happy. She's not going to like that. Because I remember the last time we told her, like, you know, we'll set you free. But then we started talking a bit more and we were like, eh, on second thought, she got all batshit crazy on us. Because I remember... In the timeline where we did get close to leaving the cabin, I I believe I killed her and then killed myself afterwards or something like that. The the whole outside of the cabin was all void. The nothingness or whatever it is, the, the silence, the dark place. I can't remember the name of it. I do like this option. No, wait, which one is it? Yeah, I do like this option as like giving me some more variety because we've already seen what happens when we try to let her out, which could lead us to a different path. But I don't want her to get upset. I don't want her to go crazy again. No, because if I'm, no, it's all about like, I can't set you free because it's too risky. I don't know why it would be risky to set her free. I'm, me as the player, am not listening to the narrator. It's just me and the voice of the hero. With that being said, I don't believe that she has any risk or any danger towards the world. Uh, I'm going to get you out of here. Don't make me regret this. You're only making this more difficult. Quiet you! Thank you, and, and you won't. I promise. That's a promise. I'm going to have to kill you if you do. a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. Thanks, voice of hero. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Oh, we've seen this already. We can skip this. And if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key is still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, I can at least find something to break you free. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. All right, we've seen that one already. Return to the bottom of the stairs. Because I think if we try the door, the we're not going to be able to get through. This would have been so much easier. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. 
Okay, uh, save the princess. <sighs> Fine. Yep. We've been here before. Approach the locked door. No, we won't. Uh huh. Warn her. Stop that. Oh, she's gonna kill us again. Resist? <gasps> no! Oh, that option's not there anymore! Oh, man. Okay, well, I guess so much for trying to save the princess. I mean, the name of the game is Slay the Princess after all, so I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Thank you. I had no choice in this. Don't thank me. There's no getting through to you right now, is there? I really tried. A betrayal of will no! is still a betrayal. No! You'll regret thinking of me as a helpless damsel. Oh, I really wasn't trying to. I should have just stayed down here with her for all eternity. She pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. But you have a weapon. You raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. It's not enough to stop her. You feel her claws in your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sinew with ease. You collapse to the floor, your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. She stares down at your ravaged form, eyes shining in the darkness, dress stained in red as her blood and yours both seep into the fabric. I'm sorry. I... I guess sorries don't really mean much when I'm bleeding out and you're losing an arm. So, for what it's worth, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, it will kill her before she can reach the outside world. It can't just end like this, right? As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark. And, and you die. die. The witch. The Vavitch. You're, You're on, on a path. In the wood. You're here. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, proceed to the cabin. A warning. She Before will lie, she will she cheat. Will lie. Don't worry. You can trust us to get Voice the, the opportunist. Done. Proceed into the cabin. What does it look like now? <laughs> the interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots. The walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happens to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Mm. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Mm. Uh, uh, into the basement. The blade. Hope you know what you're getting us into. I very much do. We're actually we're gonna try. Surely there is a way to save her at some point. Here, if we need it. Sure, that was also true last time, and we still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. Uh-huh. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor waiting to swallow you up into the earth. That's quite the description to just say that there's a branchy, muddy staircase. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, Slay playing her would probably be doing, doing her, her favor. favor. Her voice skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Hey, you know, you know, it's uh, it's gotta happen every episode. Listen, 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 princess. Even if you did bite, I think I'd be fine with that. I'm just saying. I mean, uh, let me stop. Okay, I had to get one more in before the end of the the series. I just had to. <laughs> I'm not nasty. 
I mean, I am a little. <laughs> Hello. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are. And I remember what you've done. It was against my will. I just want to make this she clear. Must have you confused with someone else? She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. I very much believe that that is a possibility. <sighs> you can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? I definitely don't want to hear what everyone has to say. Considering how many voices are in my head right now that are just like dormant and knowing that I I, I don't want to hear them again, especially not the what well, what was the other one? The um what was the love struck one? Our beautiful princess. You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. I can think of a few other things to do with the princess besides slay. All right, all right, I'm done. That was the last one. Fine, fine. You're the boss. That was the last one. Thank you. Hi. You just got a tail. Steps, She's got claws. Below. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. And there you are, once again seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? She's acting like the two of you already know each other. Cause we do! Just sit back for a second and let me handle this! I mean, just fuck! You've already been here, haven't you? That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. Do you remember us then? Do you remember last time? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. Thank you. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Let's chat her up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Yes, absolutely. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. I do. I'm just having an argument in my head, and for some reason I stare off into the distance like I'm brain dead when I do. I'm sorry about last time. Look, I made a mistake. We all make mistakes, right? I'm sure you've made mistakes. I get the sense that you're not happy with me. <laughs> I'm unarmed. That's a good gesture of goodwill, so why don't we talk it out? I didn't... I died last time. You didn't... If anyone here shouldn't be trusted, it's you. Look, I know, I know, things got messy last time, but I think there's something bigger than both of us at work. We should team up. Can't you get out of those chains on your own? Those chains didn't stop you last time. Why do I have a nagging feeling you're going to stab me? I don't trust you, not enough for you, not enough to free you. Okay, all right, all right. I am debating between, let's team up. I'm unarmed. I'm sorry about last time doesn't really mean much. Like, I feel like if somebody, killed me or tried to kill me and then came back again somehow and then just said i'm sorry for last time i'd be like no <laughs> where's the rest of the apology fuck off so and then saying that we all make mistakes is like that's that's not taking accountability for the action even though i was against my will and didn't have the opportunity to resist a second time so i would say I'm either gonna go with I'm unarmed or we should team up. But I was unarmed last time and I still ended up trying to kill her. Something, uh, there's something bigger than both of us. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord, did you? All right, I suppose I could team up. I need a way out after all. And unfortunately, you're the only one I have. I'm still confused about that. Seems to me like she's offering 
a mutually beneficial arrangement. We should take it. Do you know what the word mutually means? Because it sounds to me like she's offering an arrangement that benefits her and her alone. Sorry about last time. Oh, okay. So we get the we get the ob uh, the opportunity to say something else. And then let's go with the other thing that we were going to say. You came to me with empty hands last time too. But that didn't mean you hadn't been plotting something nasty. I wasn't long. I wasn't plotting anything. You showed me as much. I didn't plot anything. But we didn't plot anything. We just made an informed decision based on the information we had at the time. I think you're both making perfectly valid points. Sure, we didn't plot anything, but it's easy to see how she might think we did. Uh, I didn't bring the I didn't bring my blade down. Remember how am I supposed to get you out of those chains? Can't you get out of those chains on your own? Those chains didn't stop you last time. Oh, of course. They're nothing to me. The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. Alright, calm down, buddy. He's not as bad as the, the swooning one, but he's... Calm down. <laughs> this is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. Nope, let's not do this. Okay, let's leave. Leave with the princess. Uh, so, I mean, I guess. I guess let's apologize. Oh, smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. Well, if you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. I got you. I got you. Let's get out of here. Yes. Let's. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. Interesting. She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. I'm going to put my arm around you, we're going to snuggle up, and we're going to run out of here and live happily forever after. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. Darling. <laughs> oh, no. We can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. Aren't you supposed to be opportunistic? It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together here. Well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together, but that doesn't mean we have to trust her. I feel like the opportunistic one would have a bit of optimism. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. Very true. You're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out, but if you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. I don't think we will. Step onto the stairs. <laughs> you first. Uh, uh, uh. Uh man, it's all about trust. It's I I'm naive. It's all about trust, so I'm gonna step onto the stairs. That's right. You're the one who's going first. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you watching every single thing you do. Okay. That's exactly what I'm worried about. Yeah. You step onto the stairs and begin your ascent from the basement. The princess follows close on your heels perhaps even a little closer than you'd like. What if I like, what if I turned around and started walking up the stairs backwards while I watch her? I mean, it's not that too far fetched. I just hold on to the walls and I like slowly start to climb up. You're only saying that because you want us to feel nervous. I do want those things, but I want them for a good reason. I don't need you to trust me for my sake because I already know that I'm right. This is for you. Can we walk backwards up the stairs? I think that's the smarter idea. She can't sneak in and- Hey, yo! No. The stairs are a bunch of overgrown roots. You'll trip and hurt yourself. We just, we take our time. You, like, you tap the back step. So while you're walking backwards, right, you take one foot and you tap with that foot so that you can get your bearings. And then once you're sure, 
and can confirm you click enter and then you just you know and you repeat the process until you made your way up but the princess is silent as you both continue the climb and in no time at all the upstairs of the cabin is within reach isn't that a relief we're fine nothing happened you're not even going to wait until you're through that door to proudly claim your victory are you why did you just say that I think we know why. You feel something dig into your shoulder, sharp and piercing. No. The princess clawing at you and oh. pulling you down with her full weight. Together you tumble back down the uneven stairs, your body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots until finally you both separate with a bone-shaking thud against the basement floor. You feel something pop. <laughs> ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I don't have any wood to knock on, um, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say it anyways. I have never broken a bone in my body. And oh my God, just the thought, just the thought of breaking a bone or feeling something pop out of place is, oh, oh, oh. The princess lands against the It was in her nature. Grasping as she struggles to recover from the impact. You're still in shock, trying to get a hold of yourself. She grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively <laughs> as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. Wait, why won't we be getting up? I'm afraid your back is broken. One unlucky fall is all it takes, really, and you had several. Damn. I got that Batman versus Bane disease. You know what? I'll say it. That sucks. I don't like having a broken back. We were going to help her. Why? Why did she do that? It's what I would have done. Have you considered not being like that? <laughs> of course not. It's what keeps us alive. And yet here we are, paralyzed and stuck with someone who hates us in the basement of a remote cabin. The scream for help. Help! You must have known this was coming. The arrogance of turning your back to me after everything you've done. It wasn't my fault! I can't get up. You broke my back. What the hell was that for? I was trying to help you out of here. We were never going to get up those stairs, were we? We could have gotten out of this. Say nothing. I was trying to get you out of here. Maybe you were, and maybe you weren't. But even more than I wanted my freedom, I really, really wanted to hurt you. All right, buddy. And you know as well as I that by our very nature, only one of us could make it up those stairs unscathed. Someone had to make the first move. Better me than you. It didn't have to be either of us if you just trusted me. I had myself in full control this time. See, this is why I wanted her to go first. I had this whole little scheme planned where once she'd passed by the table upstairs, I'd have said, now pick up the blade and stab her in the back. We weren't going to do that. And then you'd say something like, Wow, that's an amazing idea that I never saw coming. Thanks for looking out for us. And then you would have done it and we wouldn't be stuck down here with a broken back. Listen, there's, I don't know where we are in historical timeline perspective, but there's like technologies that allow us to, to it fixes, I don't know, paralysis. I... Just one problem. And what's that? She was clearly planning to betray us. And if she was in front of us, she would have gotten to the blade first. Ugh, you're right, aren't you? I thought this whole thing was ironclad, but... Ironclad? It was from the start, wasn't it? Ironclad. Slay the spire. Slay the princess. Slay. Princess. Spire. Fantasy. It all comes full circle, guys. Slay the spy and Slay the Princess are set in the same universe. <laughs> and that's just a theory. <laughs> the princess's oh! body twitches as she tries to get up. I don't like the sound. The sound design is really good, but I don't like the sound effects. Ho ho ho! So she's not as bad as us. Something inside me is broken. Isn't that a cruel twist of the knife? Isn't that so... so funny? She eyes you with intensity, silence falling between you for a long moment as her gaze travels up and down your battered form. Seems I'm not the only one, though. Yeah, I mean, we could already deduce that I was messed up. You're the one who just found out that you're a paraplegic, too. Wait, a 
Are we both just stuck here? Certainly seems that way. What a way to go. But look on the bright side. Oh, We're shit. going to die together. Shit, what did he say? <laughs> Certainly seems that way. What a way to go. But look on the bright side. In all this chaos, you may have actually managed to deliver a lethal wound. The world could be saved after all. All right, or uh, calm down. We're going to die together. Isn't that a lovely treat? I wonder how long it'll take. Maybe it'll. Maybe I'll get to watch the worms lick your bones clean. Is that really what's going to happen now? Hello? Are you still there? What happens next? He doesn't respond. I think he's gone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel. Cold. Goodbye, princess. It was nice knowing you. I really tried to help you. But you don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. Memory returns. She's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Oh, yeah, we've seen this already. Of course you're scared. This is the end. Uh, da, da, da. It's going to be okay. Yeah, just approach the mirror. There's no point in uh, trying to make sense with them. Uh-huh. He thinks this is a bad idea. I'm with him. Gaze into the reflection. You are nothing at all. But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure, feigned, faint and vile in the shadow. Veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. Are you me? I think you know what I am. Whoa. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in two. And then another crack forms and another and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. So you're the narrator. I was wondering if you'd... If if I'd ever get to see you. What are you? Are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if... Okay. Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. Are you part of me or are you something... Jesus, so many questions. So many questions. Okay, I have so many questions for you. Then ask them and make it quick. I won't last for long now that you can see me. Oh, okay. We really have to, like, oh, shit. I fucked up by saying that. So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get the chance to meet you. What are you? Are you something like me? Ah, uh, what are these bottom ones? What is this place? Where are we? I wasn't supposed to see all this, was I? I've met you many times. Have you been the same you all along? You're the one who wanted me to slay the princess. Why? I feel like that's a really good question. Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind, she must be destroyed. But why? And despite how far you've fallen, you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. Uh, tell me why! Who cares about dying? I've died plenty of times. I'm pretty sure death is good, actually. Important, even. Why would you want to rid the world of death? What is this place? Where are we? Fuck. I don't know how many questions I have to ask. Because if we're going based on how many shards there are, there's like this whole piece right here. Unless these separate individually. Then there's this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I think there's one behind all this text. So that gives me a total of one, two, three, four, five, possibly more questions potentially six if there's another one behind here okay i've met you many times have you been the same all along i haven't and that's oh, by both necessity and design this construct you're in exists in many places at once anytime you failed anytime you thought yourself dead it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world but you'll be awake soon and then it won't be able to work like that anymore Okay. All right. All right. I think we're asking some great questions, but it keeps adding more to my list of questions to ask. And what is my true identity? I feel like we're going to figure that out once we wrap all of this up. So there's no point in asking him who probably doesn't know. 
the people out there beyond the walls of the construct do they know about this do you know do they know what you want me to do to them oh, that's a good question too so you do know about the looping so many of the times i met you you denied it as even being a possibility why did you lie to me that's a good question but i feel like it doesn't matter right now considering i have a limited amount of uses I was made to do this single task. Who made me? What am I? I think is a good one as well. You're the long quiet, the god I made to rid the world of death. Okay, so then now I want to ask, why are you a god or were you a god? Um. Now I want to ask why you want to rid the world of death. If you need to ask that question, there's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. You cannot die. So you cannot grasp the abject horror of dying. Alright, that was kind of pointless. I'm running out of questions that I really like the idea of asking. So I'm going to start asking some other questions that seem appealing to me. Um, you said she contains death, but what is she? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. Hmm. Okay, that was good. That was good. I feel like that was a good one. If you made us, then I want you to know that this has been tortured. If I destroy her, won't I be alone? If you want me to destroy the concept of transformation, how is that existence any better than death? Or even different from death at all? Honestly, it feels worse. You have anything to say for yourself? Okay, this is a good one. I'll come back to this. What if neither of us leave this place? Does that work? Can we just stay here together and leave the people out there alone? That's also a good one. Of all things, why is she a princess? Why couldn't she be an ant or a slice of soggy bread? Not important to the scenario. Why did you make her a princess? I feel like that's an interesting question. I'm... Uh, it's not important. It's not one of the most important questions out of the three that I've read. Or the ones that I liked. I kind of want to ask this one. I want to ask why he made her a princess. And then I want to ask... What was this top one up here? This one. Why a princess? I didn't make her a princess, but I wove the idea of her into something your scattered mind could fathom. You chose for that something to be a princess. That was a waste of a question. Fuck. Me. What if neither of us leave this place? It wouldn't work. Her nature as the shifting mound makes it so nothing can last forever as it is now. It wouldn't matter how long the two of you waited. Eventually she would find a way to leave. And then everything would change. Everything would face oblivion. And until then, the clock ticks on. Mmm. More and more questions. Why couldn't you have told me all this from the start? I would have helped you destroy her. Also an interesting one. Yeah, why couldn't you have explained this from the start? If you actually knew what she was from the start, if you knew her capabilities, a single intrusive thought could have instantly ended the entire world. Hmm. And I had a lot of intrusive thoughts. Okay. Does anyone else know about this? Does anyone else know about us? Is of course it? not. The only way this construct could function was if nobody knew what it was doing. But the bones of the universe are old. It's on the cusp of its dying breath, and the people out there are consumed with thoughts of oblivion. When the patterns are wiped from the sand, when the board is reset, who will remember them? All I've done is give them a chance to live outside of the shadow of the end. Run out of questions. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Alright. I think you're out of time. It's not going... I'm not going to slay her. I want you to know that before you die for good. Rest easy. I'm going to destroy her. Press easy, I'm going to destroy her. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I still have to see what she thinks about all of this. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're out of time. Ooh, that's a deep one. Ooh, 
I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. I've said my piece, and my time is up. I'm just an echo, and every echo fades away. You know what you have to do. This game is deep. As the final fragment of uh, glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. All of this is you. The narrator was right. You are the long quiet, a vast and na nascent god. And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. Bring the witch to her. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There's nothing for you to find. Hi! I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. Yeah? It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Oh, that's very sweet. I, I actually appreciate that. That was... That was that was deep. I've missed you too. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. What happens now? Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. Do you know about the Echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. Ooh, interesting. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting, but it's woven into your nature, isn't it? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? Fuck! There's so many more- there's so many stories we've left unfinished, can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all of this? Why is this all falling on me? Let's talk this through, I still have so many questions and I need answers before I can make a choice. If I let you out, an entire world ends for good, I can't do that. If you were always going to become this, then what was the point of doing of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads we what roads I walked if all of them would have led to this moment? There has to be another way. This can't just come down to me either destroying you or letting you out. I won't do it. Slay the princess. I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't know how to leave or where to go. I still have a lot of questions. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. And you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. So no questions. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you- Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa! Back in a trick behind mine. We dance, revolving and revolving around each other but forever stuck in place. We both move, and yet we both don't. For each of us watches the other instead of ourselves. But forever is not forever. I move, and you react, and both of us break the other. But broken is only a moment in time. To change is to hold the potential to rise above. Would you limit yourself to what you are now? Or would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? Address the vessel statement directly. Appeal to your shared humanity. You speak about life and death and can change and stagnation, but that isn't what any of this has been about. Reject her authority. You've done nothing but lecture me since the minute I got here. Argue your independence. You act as though the world can't exist without you, but I've existed without you. Reject her perspective. I won't engage with violence. 
I won't. I'm not gonna engage with violence. But violence has defined the form of everything between us. Do not deny what we are, and do not color our conflict with fear. Okay, so this is going through all of like the uh, the vessels that we found so far, and so I think if we can get to the one that we had like a, a shared love with, we might be able to get out of this without any kind of like negative emotions. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I get it. There's no need for us to keep fighting. I'll leave with you. I just don't know how. Stop the fight and stop the fight early and surrender. Continue to reject her perspective. It doesn't matter how I feel. Death, suffering, and oblivion shouldn't fall on others. If we are able to transcend death, then we are responsible for those it holds captive. Continue to reject her perspective. The echo saw forest as his eyes were closed. The majesty of being extends beyond any single perspective. The boundless torrent of blades kept you from boundless angles. You are a body. You are gory ribbons. You are a body again. And you feel all of it. Whoa. <laughs> on and on it goes until your bodies are not your thoughts are not you. Alive, dead, alive, dead, alive, dead, then alive and dead and alive and dead all at once. You learn to put yourself away, and in your stillness you rose above me. You died countless steely deaths, and you lived countless short lives. And yet it is all so far behind you. To a greatness you never would have reached without me. Ah! Continue to reject perspective. Suffering born in delusion is still suffering. It doesn't matter what we are now. We hurt each other and we shouldn't have done that. We cannot let a world be spun out of that pain. <laughs> There's Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? Where's the one? Where's the one that we were gonna walk away with lovingly? But the stakes meant nothing. Is this the one? You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you, forever and ever and ever. Consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. Ah. Uh... Okay, I think this is the one. Continue to reject you. Re you reject the suffering of material reality, and yet you cling to its framework for meaning. We can be better than this. Oh, okay. I think this is the one that we were gonna walk away with happily ever after. But rejecting the perspective, I feel, is is doing some good. Because I'm going to say this one last time, with this being the last episode of Slay the Princess. This game has to be a metaphor for a relationship. It has to be, you know, despite all of the decision making and the countless times we've died and the countless times we have, you know, joked around or whatever. It, it's all about coming to terms with the kind of relationship that you want with your partner. And us going through this is like us really having a sit down conversation, a soul searching conversation. And you know, things were never in a great place. And we have rejected the perspectives of all the bad things, but we can't deny that like even in the good, there were there was perfection. Does that make sense? Like despite us getting ready to, you know, walk off with this version of the princess, hand, you know, love in hand, there was still there was there wasn't pers perfection. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna continue to reject the perspective. Should I appeal to your shared humanity? Reject her authority. Address this vessel's statement directly. 
So what happens if I reject her perspective? I'm gonna do something that I have never done before. I wanna save just in case something happens and I don't like it. So I'm gonna continue to reject her perspective. I reject the narrow view of impermanence. I cling to nothing. There is no better us for us to be than us. We are reality itself. Reject perspective. You claim your destruction would steal meaning from my exi from existence, but if my actions can make existence worse, then there must be actions that make it better. Perfection implies finality, and nothing is final. Whoa. There has never been finality. There is only the unending transformation of my multitudes. But to destroy me is to bring everything to a stop. It is only then that you will have an ending. And that ending is nothingness. At the clash between you... As the clash between you... Whoa. Uh, hello? Between you abates, the princess withdraws trembling. You are unmovable. Is it by the design of our conflict that I cannot win? Or are you just that fervent in how you cling to delusion? Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. It's easy to believe in the things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. What do you think happens if we leave here? Okay, I'm ready to go, but how do we leave? I never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? I can't let that happen. I can't let everything die. I have to fight for a better world. I'm so sorry. You are cruelty itself, and I cannot let you exist. I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you free. You've done everything you can to, un to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. Oh my god! That's a powerful one right there. Cause going back, oh, oh, oh. Going back to the whole metaphor. In a conversation, whether this be relationship, friendship, mutual agreements, there has to be some kind of, you can't dismiss one or the other in their in their thought process or their perspective. You have to find some way to come to a, a healthy middle, a healthy middle or healthy medium. With this answer, with this response, we're basically saying like, you want me to bend over for you, but then when I offer solutions, it's like, it's your way or no way. What I offer you is not perspective. It is true. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. You're here, the voice of the hero! Which hero are you? You have no idea how good it is to hear you. I can do this alone. Where is everyone else? How are you supposed to help? I thought voices weren't allowed here. I thought you died. You have no idea how good it is to hear it's you. Good to be here. <laughs> Seems like you've been doing all right on your own, but she's too many things at once out here. Oh! If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get past all that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Let's do it. I'm ready. No, I can do this out here on my own. I'm ready. I would rather not do this on my own. Or, no, maybe. I'm thinking way too deep into this game, but I'm ready. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. The hell?
Well, it's getting more detailed. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? I'd like that for old time's sake. Is it just you and me? Did anyone else make it to the cabin? Is the narrator really gone? Take the blade. You know what? For old time's sake. Let's hear that one more narration. Yeah, of course. The interior of the cabin is, well, it's a cabin, yeah? There isn't much here, just a table and a knife and a door. And some windows. Beautiful description. There's no mirror, either. I think you broke it. Beautiful. And I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. Is it just you and me? Is the narrator really gone? Fuck. Are we really going to need the blade? Shit, dude. I'm stressed. I'm not going to need it. No blade it is. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do without it, but your judgment has gotten us this far. Fuck, this game is so good! The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Have you figured out what you want to do yet, or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. Continue down the stairs. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. And there you are. Hands empty. So you don't feel like recreating our first meeting detail for detail. I wonder what else will be different. Maybe there's still room for us to chat before the final curtain call. What do you say? I'd like that. Sit with her. It's so good to finally see you again. I'm sorry for all the times I've hurt you. I don't think I want to be a god. Are you the same as you are out there? Which princess are you? You don't you look like you did the first time we met. Is this the real you? Uh, so now that we're here at the end of everything, can you finally tell me your name? Oh, that's a good one. None of this was ever really fair for either of us, was it? What do you think of her? What she wanted us to be? What if we just leave? Okay, I want to know your name. <laughs> I never had one. And do not call me the Shifting Mound. It's too much. But I've always been a princess to you, right? So why don't we stick with that? Yes, your highness. And as for you, well, Hero works for me. Aww. But that's me. You know, I think I like that. All right. Well, it's so good to finally see you again. Right back at you. In a way, it hasn't been much time at all, but it feels like it's been forever since I've seen you. Thanks for coming back. Oh, man. Okay. Sorry for all the times I've hurt you. <laughs> well, you did stab me to death as soon as we met, but it's not like I'm completely innocent. We both took things a little far. Still, apology accepted. You know, when she puts it like that... I don't think I want to be a god. Are you the same out there? None of this was really fair for either of us, was it? No, it really wasn't. But just because it hasn't been fair doesn't mean that it hasn't been worth it. I'm... really glad I got to know you. Damn. I'm a sucker for love stories. This, this is... Oh... Final thoughts at the end. Final thoughts at the end. What do you think of her? What she wanted us to be? I don't think I want to be a god. Doesn't matter what we call ourselves. It's just another label. And I don't think labels have ever helped us. All they do is cram us into boxes where we don't fit. Just like this cabin. That's fair. Um, what do you think of her? I don't think she's the sort of thing you can really disagree with. It doesn't matter if she's right or wrong because she exists. She's this big, unrelenting force, and there's no arguing with her. But I guess that was the question out there, wasn't it? 
And it was the question before you came down here, too. Should she get to exist? I'm glad you didn't bring that knife with you. See, guys? We don't have to slay the princess. And I don't want to be her, if that's what you're asking. I think I just want to be me. Agreed. Yeah, I'm happy not to be everything. Just being us is plenty. What if we just leave? Do you know where this cabin is? Because I don't. I don't even know what's supposed to be outside other than us. What would even happen if we leave? What would that even mean? Take her hand in yours. It's a leap of... It's honestly just a leap of faith. Every relationship is a leap of faith. You cannot plan everything out step by step. And sometimes you're going to be stepping into the unknown. I don't know, but I've always wanted to leave with you. I just didn't like being a god. I want to walk through that cabin door as we are, just you and me. Not knowing what it means is why I want it. We know we knew everything out there, but we don't know this. I want to know this. It doesn't matter what happens or what it means. What matters is that we're leaving together. That's all I want. Not knowing what it means is why I want it. That, yeah. Ooh, but do we do do we do like the the, the mysterious lovebird thing and just take her hand? I can show you the world. Now, not knowing what it means is why. I want I guess, when you put it that way, I want that too. I think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Are you going to be okay alone? Thanks for everything. Oh no, am I actually about to start getting emotional over a game like this? Are you sure you don't want to come? Are you sure you don't want to come? Yeah, it wouldn't feel right, but I'll be okay. No. No. <laughs> I don't think I'll be alone for long either. I'm sure I can find the others. Oh my god, I'm gonna start getting emotional. Leave with the princess. You lead and the princess follows and together you leave the basement behind for the fir for the last time. It's quiet. It's quiet as you ascend. A comfortable silence filling a space that used to be flooded with violence and words and noisy thoughts. But there is an energy in the silence, an electricity, the anticipation of the unknown. At the top of the stairs, the princess stalls, eyes fixed on the cabin door. You can see a tension sees her. She's unsure of herself for the first time in a long time. In her... In her long and short existence, sorry. Filling in words that aren't there. She has no part to play anymore, and she knows this, yet she still is. And then she crosses the room to the door outside. You follow her confident steps. This is it. I have no idea what it's going to be like out there. Not that I'm scared or anything. It's exciting, really. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. And if it's bad, then it won't be bad. <laughs> Not with you. <laughs> oh, no, no. No. I love you. Who's going to open it? Are you ready? Neither of us knows what's going to. Uh, I love you. I love you too. But I'm trying not to be sappy about it. Don't make me get all emotional. It's too late. I'm, I'm already there. Oh. Whatever it is, you'll face it together. <laughs> it was so good. Ah. Okay. All right. I'm fighting back. To you. Can you see them in my eyes? You probably can't. Oh, that was good. That was good. Good job to, to all the artists, to all the voice actors in this game. Good job to everybody who worked on this. It was phenomenal. S tier in, in every way. I don't think I have anything bad to say about this game. From the moment that I played through my first run, it was, it was like, it was insane because just the realization that this game has so many paths you can take. Finish the game, the good ending doesn't count. Oh. What was the what was the good ending? Thank you so much for playing. As an expression of our gratitude, here's the track order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by hitting H. Or I can hit the mouse wheel. 
Yeah, so this is all the songs here. Beautiful. Absolutely phenomenal. But yeah, like, just the realization that there are so many paths that you can take that will lead you to a different story from anybody else. Like I said in the first video, if you were to follow my exact steps, yes, you would get the same ending as I would every time. But if you're playing blind and have no idea what to expect, you have no idea, you're just you're answering the questions as you would personally or as you feel the character that you're playing as would answer, then we're going to have completely separate stories every time. And I don't know if every path leads to one leads to the same. I don't I don't know, but I just feel like there's so much replayability in this game because, again, it has 92 achievements. I have barely scratched a third of the achievements for this game. And it's just and then after realizing that this is a metaphor for a relationship, it was oh my perspective changed as as i kept playing and i think that was what the game meant by have heart this is a love story you know you you read the title of the game and if you're if you're just playing the game you think yeah you know whatever i'm gonna say the princess i'm not really gonna take into account that these are real these are souls who have personality who have feelings it's <sighs> This is going to be one of those games where I really wish that I could go back and play it for the very first time again. It's definitely going on my list of like top favorites that I've played on the channel. It's it's going to go right there next to Spider-Man 2, which made me cry by the end. This one almost had me. If I if if I weren't so set on trying not to cry, I definitely would have like shed a couple of tears, but just the music is so inviting and so memorable. I am forever going to remember this game. And even maybe once in a while, I'll come back to it on my own time or maybe in a future live stream, whatever. I'm I'm not going to dwell on it for too long because that is our ending. Other people may have chosen different endings than us. Other people may have chosen the same ending, but chose to go about the wording and the decision making by the end completely different. Whatever it is, I'm happy that I made the choices that I made and I'm happy that you guys were all here with me. Hello. <laughs> I so good if you want to see my most recent video i'll have that link somewhere around here and if you want to see the full playlist of slay the princess that'll also be linked somewhere around here as well subscribe if you're new not sure why you'd be watching the very last episode of the series but i'd always like you know to offer the opportunity to subscribe if you made it all the way to the end i'm gonna get out of here i love you guys and i hope that you love yourselves and i hope that you love the loved ones around you because Perspectives change and there's always there's there's always new paths to take. I don't know where I was going with that, but just love love. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys, stay safe out there, take it easy, and big body out!